What is the Gradle Build Tool? In software engineering, you will spend much of your time writing code and tests. Often, the code you write will make use of code written by others and shared in the form of libraries called dependencies. For example, if you were developing a calculator app, you would make use of a math library dependency. These dependencies may themselves require other libraries known as transitive dependencies. For example, the math library may require a big numbers library. Historically, people would look at their direct dependencies, decide what versions they wanted to use, and manually download the libraries from trusted locations called repositories to make them available to their code. They would also have to understand all the transitive dependencies and what versions were needed and manually download those too. These days, build tools automate much of this. You specify what direct dependencies you need and what versions are acceptable in your build configuration and the build tool figures out the transitive dependencies and versions needed and automatically downloads all of them. The practice of configuring and handling dependent libraries is known as dependency management. The code you write needs to be compiled, tested, and packaged. Historically, people would write scripts with tasks to do these. These scripts would be checked into version control alongside their code. All projects would need these tasks and the scripts could get pretty complex. Build tools emerged, so instead of having these scripts for every project, you could instead have some configuration for the build tool that told it things like where the source code is, and the build tool would provide the common tasks that would read this configuration and perform the needed actions. Now, instead of checking in the scripts into version control, this configuration would be checked in instead. Sometimes, however, a custom task would be needed that wasn't provided by the build tool. In that case, people would still have to write scripts. As build tools evolved, they started exposing their API for others to leverage in authoring these custom tasks, making it much easier. Dependency management, tasks, and build configuration are core concepts in any modern build tool, including Gradle. Gradle is an open source build automation tool. It provides a lot of functionality out of the box for common tasks. It has a comprehensive and flexible dependency management system. One additional core concept important to the Gradle build tool is its build lifecycle. That is, how Gradle goes about performing tasks. This concept is especially relevant to those who maintain lots of Gradle build configuration, as having some basic understanding of this helps in maintaining good configuration. It will not be covered in this training since our audience is developers. It is covered in another training called Introduction to Gradle Build Tool for Build Engineers. Gradle Build Tool is also adaptable with a plugin framework. If there's some custom functionality needed, you can implement it as a plugin which can be published and used by others. In fact, if you do require some custom functionality that is not provided by Gradle Build Tool out of the box, often you will find someone in the community has already implemented it and shared it as a plugin. Speaking of which, this is one of Gradle Build Tool's biggest strengths. It's large and active community. Gradle 1.0 was released in 2012, and the project has seen increased growth and usage over the years. There have been many contributors to the project, as well as those who have written useful plugins for others to use. This video is just a sample of what's available in the free DPE University Learning Center. Head over to DPE University to take the full course, earn a LinkedIn certificate, and unlock your potential with Gradle Build Tool. You can find links in the description below.